My name is Jenna Cameron and I'm with Metaflix and I have the pleasure of being here with Elliot Fuchs. He is a product manager for CT. He's over at this amazing product here. Tell me a little bit about it. Absolutely, Jenna. So this is the Somatome OnSite Portable Head CT Scanner from Siemens Health and Ears. ICU patients are very critically ill and imaging them is not only challenging but also very dangerous without portable head CT. These transports from the ICU to radiology for imaging can cause adverse events for these already critically ill patients. One in three ICU patients experience some sort of adverse event when being transported from the ICU to radiology. One in three? One in three. That number is huge. It is, it is. And again, these are already very critically ill patients. So being able to bring high quality CT imaging directly to their bedside within the ICU is so critically important for their well-being, but also from a, a staff workflow standpoint as well. Certainly, yeah, having somebody take a patient down, that's just how much time would that take? It, how many people would exactly. you need? Exactly. Right? Yeah, usually you need about four to five people to transport one of these patients from the ICU to radiology. So you're really optimizing the staff deployment. And in a time where there are staff shortages and burnout overall. Ab right? and absolutely. And it's very stressful because these patients are usually hooked up to all sorts of monitors and, and breathing devices. So it's very stressful for the staff. It sounds like to me that this solution eliminates all of that stress. Exactly right. So it's truly portable. It runs on a battery. Um, you plug it into a standard wall outlet to charge up that battery, and you can scan up to 40 patients on a single battery charge. Oh, wow. It drives just like a portable x-ray system, so very easy to maneuver. Okay. You drive it right into that ICU room, you park it at the head of the ICU bed, and then we have a universal shoulder board that will come down flat, lay flat on that ICU bed, and then the techs and the nurses will position that patient into position. Does it accommodate different needs for uh, patient transportation as well? Great question. So any ICU bed that has a removable headboard, that shoulder board will work and you can scan patients on that ICU bed. Great. Yeah, that sounds very functional. Yes. And really the goal is just making it portable. So that way the technology can come to the patient exactly. and the patient can get what they need. So with this new and improved Somatome on site, not only can it be used in the ICU, so bringing point of care imaging to these ICU patients, but we also have the ability to integrate it into the back of an ambulance, which we call a mobile stroke unit. So it's the same exact system, same technologies, however, without the drive system and without the wheels. So we integrate it into the back of an ambulance, and if there's a suspected stroke case, they will dispatch one of these mobile stroke units. They can do the imaging right where the patient is, send the images via telemedicine to the hospital. They can quickly read the imaging, determine if they're having a stroke, and if they are having a stroke, what type of stroke. That way they can start administering life-saving medications before the patient even gets to the hospital. And depending on what type of stroke they're having, we can make sure that they're going to the proper facility for their next step in treatment. Right, and we all know that time is ticking whenever you are a stroke victim. And the sooner that you can have that life-saving um, you know, medicine, medication administered, the better. Your quality of life will be there after that. My best friend had a stroke our last year together in college. Um, and so you know, this kind of technology is so important. I've seen it firsthand. I know what it's like when you have to have a delay. I know that he's still impacted by the stroke that he had in his uh, early 20s. And uh, we're thankful to you. So thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Absolutely, yep. yeah. T time is brain. It is. What have you heard so far in the industry and from your customers about this product? It makes a huge difference to their workflow and ultimately their patients as well, right? Keeping them in their controlled environment within the ICU, being able to bring the imaging directly to them has really been a game changer. What's also very nice about the Somatome on-site is a lot of the technologies we have within the system are the same technologies that we have in our conventional CTs that you would find in radiology. So you're not compromising on image quality, even though you're scanning the patient right at their bedside. Yeah, that's amazing. It's so great that you're meeting uh, patients and providers where they where they are. Exactly. Talk to me a little bit about the development of this product. We were talking a little bit offline. Absolutely. Uh, how did this come to be, the Simitown on-site? Absolutely, great question. So this is Siemens Health and Ears first portable CT scanner. So this is a, a solution where, yes, we could do R&D testing over in Germany, but we knew that we wanted to 
get this into a clinical setting to really determine what works and what isn't working. What do our customers need more from us? So we partnered with 12 early adopters here in the US and they've been using a Gen 1 Somatome on-site system for the past couple of years and we've been having conversations with them, the techs, the nurses, the neurologists, the, the neuro ICU staff, and they've been giving us feedback on what's working and what isn't working. We've taken that feedback and we've implemented it into a brand new Somatome on-site new and improved system. These customers, they're the ones who are using the system, they're scanning these ICU patients. So making sure that it fits their workflow is very important for us. At the end of the day, our customers are the ones who are using this technology to better benefit their patients, their staff, and ultimately the community. So we need to make sure that our products are working for them and their patients. And we take a lot of pride in listening to our customers and then implementing that feedback to make better products in the future. And Elliot, I can tell that you're really passionate about what you do. Um, yes. Can you just share with us um, what, what keeps you here? What keeps you this alive on day three at RSNA? A absolutely. I think, um, you know, patient's well-being, you never know, you know, whether it be yourself or a family member, could end up needing quality care, quality CT imaging. And knowing that we put so much effort into our technologies to benefit the staff and ultimately the patients, it makes me so happy. And it's, it's such a privilege for work, to work for a company who really makes a big difference within the community and for, for patients and their families as well. Yeah, with every single person I've spoken to in the booth so far, there's just a lightness, there's an energy yeah. in the Siemens booth that you don't always find. And I really do feel like it's because um, you all believe and what you're doing absolutely and you believe in the products um, that you're making and you stand behind them absolutely. and you're confident that you're providing better confidence in healthcare and for patients and it's just amazing to see and i'm so thankful that you're here and you're providing this level of care and service to healthcare professionals uh worldwide and absolutely. i feel better as a, as a patient yes just knowing that um, you guys care absolutely and i appreciate you thank you so much absolutely it's it such a, a pleasure. pleasure meeting you Elliot. thank, thank you, you for your time